Welcome back to the garage here at DIYGolfCart.com. What we're looking at today is tires and wheels, which one is best for your car, and how to measure it. What we're going to do first is actually learn how to measure your wheel properly. So let's get a tape measure and get started. To determine the width of the wheel, you'll measure from inner wall to inner wall. Ours is about 7 inches wide, so we have 7 inch wide wheel. Next to get the wheel height, we'll have to measure from where the tire mounts on the top to where the tire mounts on the bottom. We can get this measurement by measuring the entire wheel and deducting a half inch on each side. Our wheel is 13 inches. We subtract 1 inch and the height of our wheel is 12 inches. We now know that our wheel is 12 by 7 inch wheel. Now we will measure our offset. We will start by measuring from this mounting point to the outer rim of the wheel. You will need a ruler or tape to put across the wheel to get the exact measurement. This will be your first number. Then measure from the same mounting point to the front outer part of the wheel. Our wheel has a three by four offset. Most custom wheels will have an offset. If you are looking for wheels larger than your stock size, we recommend getting a wheel with a negative offset. A negative offset pushes the wheel out away from the car and helps prevent rubbing. While a wheel with a positive offset will tuck the wheel under the cart. This may cause rubbing. Now we will start with taking off the stock wheels so we can replace them with low profile wheels to show you how they will look on your golf cart. Here's the recommendation for the size of wheel you should go with based on your cart. Our first tire is a 205-5010, which is an 18 inch tall tire. This will still have around 2 to 3 inches of clearance. Our 12 inch low pro is a 215 35 12 and stands about 17.9 inches high. You will still have about 2 to 3 inches of space. These 14 inch wheels are 23 10 by 14 inch and stands at 23 inches high, which is more than recommended. It will fit an easy go cart, but you won't be able to have much weight on the cart, probably nothing more than a driver and a passenger. We would recommend not going past 21 inches in height for enough clearance. For our last wheel on the stock lift, we are putting on a 22 10 by 10 inch all-terrain tire. This tire will stand about 22 inches high, but we recommend not going past this height. If the wheel is too large, it may cause rubbing and damage the body or wheel on your cart. Now we will go over a few different sizes of wheels for a cart with a five inch lift kit. If you have a lift kit, you will need a negative offset to give the wheel enough clearance to prevent rubbing. Here's the recommendation for the size of wheel you should go with based on your cart. Mm -hmm. 
we are going to start with a 10 inch all-terrain or a 22 11 10 inch tire. With a 5 inch lift kit you will have about 8 to 10 inches of clearance. A 23 10.5 by 12 inch all-terrain tire will stand about 23 inches tall. The 5 inch lift kit gives you around 7 to 9 inches of clearance. Our last example is a 23 10 by 14 inch tire. This tire gives you 6 to 8 inches of clearance with a 5 inch lift kit on your cart. Well, we've had another great day here at the garage. We got to see 10, 12, and 14 inch wheels installed in our golf car, both low pro and all terrain. We decided to stick with this chrome Majax wheel for our lifted RXV. If you need tires and wheels for your golf car, be sure to look us up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for all your golf car parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com and make sure to check out our other videos.